have I got something for you. February 1st, something shifted and it was major. So major. We're not talking about strange feelings and are you feeling this? I'm talking about every single day. Something bizarre has happened. Now I tried to shoot this video three times. So you're going to see excerpts from the last video that I did where some bizarre things were happening while I was shooting. I'll share that with you. You're going to understand what's happening with the planetary alignments, what's happening here on our planet with our collective shift, what happened February 1st, and how can you use it. It's all really very exciting. You're going to love the explanation as to why I think this is happening and what it actually is. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube. Here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. You ready to start breaking through fears? I'm going to ramp it up 2022. I think if we can nip fear in the bud, what else is there? Are you ready for this? One of 2022's most important aspects, this is for February. Jupiter sextile Uranus highlights February. Not only that, Jupiter and Pluto are semi-square, a minor aspect with major impact. The sky is also busy with an Aquarius new moon, a Leo full moon, and Mer Mercury turning direct. We also have the sun entering Pisces. I'm a Pisces. Plus a peaking cradle that supports both shadow work and abundance. Now, I shared with you my astrological predictions Actually, we were somebody else's, somebody who's very well known. And it was abundance, 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 abundance. Pisces in particular is going to experience a lot between, let's say, uh, March and May. Big, big, big. I mean, all kinds of stuff. But you have to still take the action. Okay, so I read that beginning for you, and that supposedly is a big shift that's going on out there. But we've had these before. We just had one in January. That one was huge. And then everything started to sort of even out. Then all of a sudden, February 1st, one after another after another, meetings, sessions, you name it, every single one canceled, including every one of my social events. Every one. And it's still going. Every time I have something that's going on, somebody either has a technology problem, can't get on with me, forgot the time, something happens, and other bizarre things physically are happening to people. I overstrained myself on the rowing machine and had a lot of muscle pain all week, self-inflicted, obviously. Almost all of my friends have had issues with their stomach. Have you felt a little uneasy with your stomach? Things like that, and it's rampant. I'm not talking about just one or two people. Everyone that I know has experienced some kind of bizarre shift. So, I'm going to ask you right now, if you're experiencing this, you're not alone. Now, there are a few reasons for this. First of all, we are in alignment, astrologically, to make a shift of some kind. And we have a lot of abundance coming in, particularly with Pisces. But as I read to you, all the astrological signs have major abundance coming in. None of it is going to count or happen unless you take action. Now, you know I named this the year of action. Why? Because we have sat back thinking that if we, you know, law of attraction, you know, and, and I'm going to attract it to me, and, and we are now realizing as a society, we're not separate from any of that, and that my thought creates it because I am that which I, I think of. I'm entangled with everything. We're just one energy field, and that is why something big just happened. Now, what's the pattern with what I just said? Appointments, dates, everything's off, things getting canceled. We're going into a massive, massive shift of how we function as a society. Millions, tens of millions, probably more right now. It's a big deal over here quitting jobs and creating their own businesses. Now, you guys have seen this, right? All right. I did this seven years ago, 
and I realized it was going to be huge. Why? If you can create something independent and you're not on a time, right, a schedule, we've been on a schedule with our whole lives. How many years do you retire and then you do certain things? When you get up in the morning, what you have to do for a living, everything has been programmed and scheduled. We're breaking through living like that. We don't want to live like robots on a schedule. And because so many millions of people are shifting out of that mentality, gaining control and saying, I don't know what my day is. You know, I haven't set an alarm for a decade. <laughs> Seriously, when you work for yourself. And so why? Because I don't want to be told what to do and when. And I want to do what I love. Because our world has not told us that that's a way of success. Just be responsible. What's responsible? We're saying no. We're tired of being told what to do with our bodies, with our careers, what we should do with our money. Guess what? You are in control. So now what does that do? The program that we have created, we're the creators of the Matrix program. It's not, it's not something we've been put in, we're prisoners. No, we're the creators because we are the one. And we are the players, we're the creators, we're everything. So as a collective, we get to, as a collective, change the program. There's nothing wrong with the program. It's operated that way because we are still operating <laughs> like yin-yangs. And we're changing that. We're going to a higher frequency. We have understand quantum physics. We understand that we're much bigger than we thought we were. right? So now that thought pattern of the collective has brought the veils of the, let's just say, the illusion, the holographic uh, program that we're in, has brought some veils down and says, now our reality is not this. There's no other life forms out there. Now we're saying, yeah, of course there's other life forms. And they're here, and they, we've seen them, and why is that such a shocker? It's not a shocker to us anymore, right? So now all of a sudden there's an acceptance of a bigger world. So that world that we were in, that program, has become bigger. Bigger. It's less of a robotic, scheduled program, and more of a free-flowing, free-form, uh, creative program. Because we are saying we know we create a reality. I'm going to create my reality. And now I'm going to take the action to create my reality. So I, I named it the year of action. What's happening? People are taking action. And they're not saying, sitting back and blaming anymore. Of course, a lot of people still do. So that's always going to happen. But they're saying, I, I don't need to sit here and complain. What's the issue here? Somebody else or a group is telling us what to do that's not healthy for us. So we have to create the healthy world. And we're doing it. So instead of complaining and staying in the box that we've been put in, we're just getting rid of the box. We're creating our own beautiful, no schedule, creative existence as human beings that now have completely different powers and control over their own lives. And it is free form. You know, as children, children are so perfect. And we spend, you know, so much of our time telling them no, right? And I'm talking, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, of course they need guidance. I'm talking about telling them that they can't do the things that they want to do that are creative and beautiful. That's changing. And now even our children, we're telling them, if you want to be a cowboy or a cowgirl, go be one. Let's try it. What does that look like? And allowing them to make decisions because they can't make a mistake. Right? You keep them healthy. You keep them safe. And we're living in a world where instead of complaining about what happens to animals and children and old people, we're saying we have to be the catalysts of that change. So now what's happened February 1st, things are off because we have blown out that whole program where everything operates like clockwork. So Every single day, something bizarre has happened to me, <laughs> and I can't explain it. But all I could think of, what's the pattern here? What is it telling us? The universe is always talking to us because it is an actual mirror, a reflection of what we're believing and thinking. 
Quantum physics is an entanglement of what you focus on. It doesn't happen to you. All this, I'm, you know, I'm this, you know, peaceful person over here and this world's happening here. No. You are part of that. It is not separate from you. And if you focus here on the positive change, you'll create that. But you also chose to be in this world that does have a lot of conflict purposefully so you could change it in a positive way. And the only way you can do it is not to tell them they're wrong because everybody came here to experience some whatever they chose, is to create something new that's a better choice for others. Does this make sense? So if you want to change somebody's world and you see why they may be making those choices, and I'm going to, I guarantee you, people who make those choices have been brought up believing and thinking that the material world is limited and maybe have not had the kind of love and acceptance and they seek that and power, there's all kinds of reasons, and it really comes down to not feeling complete. And if you come over here and your 100% focus is to see them as complete and to give those people options who are making really painful choices for themselves and us, and we create our own world, they're going to want to join it. And if they don't, that's okay. That's still their choice, and they have to follow through with that because everybody who leaves here, everything you've ever done to somebody or said, you will experience firsthand yourself. Those abused animals, the abusers will experience the pain of the animal. Not inflicting, they will experience the pain as the animal when they go to the other side to really understand what they did. So don't worry about people not getting justice. That is not us, our role as humans. That is something that all of us have to experience. So what happened February 1st? Well, I shared with you in my last video that portals open. And part of the program is like Pac-Man. There's no Pac-Man game unless one of the little Edie things comes out. Well, portals line up to give us opportunities, both good and bad. So maybe there's a door that opens for Pac-Man and he escapes. That would be like a portal. Oh, there's another path, and whew, I escaped the little, you know, the little ED guys. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> so anyways, so you escape. Ah, portal opening, you took it. All right, so when these portals open, these opportunities open for you, you'll know it. Sometimes it'll be really, like, mind-blowing that it's a portal. Like, you'll actually, as I shared with you, in my sleep, I used to see a vortex when I closed my eyes. It was weird. And, uh... An opportunity comes in that is unexpected, that portal will close. So the game, like the Pac-Man game, has different things that show up. And so a portal is part of a program that we are participating in, that we helped create, that says life would be boring if we just sat around. There has to be a challenge or an opportunity or a choice that you can make in here to master this game. So with me, you know, when I quit my investment banking seven years ago, and you guys see, you know, I talk about this constantly, this is changing lives. 20 million Americans just quit their jobs, creating new businesses. That's a message of freedom and control, self-empowerment. And they are educating themselves, not relying on somebody else to tell them what to do and keep them limited because those person, people, feel that they need to control others and have power and money that way, when we can all be abundant and be individuals in our expression. So what is happening is when we make all these choices, we change a program and we actually create the new earth, and that's what's going on right now. But you won't know it if you don't make that choice. So you'll think the world is you know, going to hell in a handbasket, and there'll be millions of people that realize we just shifted into something so amazing. And that all of a sudden, all the conspiracies and this BS and, you know, who's evil or whatever is, you know, that's part of that old program that's all fighting with each other. But we're the good guys fighting. No, fighting's fighting, right? All right we're done with that. And so we're not fighting anymore. And, but we're taking stands for things that we know are the best for the collective. And that is, no one should ever go hungry, no one should ever be abused or lonely. 
And that'll change if you're part of the change, not the observer saying this shouldn't be happening. Well, we're taking action. Take care of yourself physically. You're going to notice some physical changes. All right. And I, I don't even want to eat the things that I was eating. I'm having no satisfaction in it. You're going to find out that you don't even really want to eat that much. And the stuff you eat just doesn't do it for you anymore. So what appears to be negative, sit back and ride, ride it and say, what is it? What's the message here? No schedules. No schedules. And flowing with that. So what can I do within this time period? Now here's what we're gonna. Here's what's gonna happen for us. And by the way, I, and I'm going to show you what happened in my last video. Two very bizarre things. I'll, I'll play it for you. Actually, I'll play that for you right now before I explain uh, what's going to happen from this moment forward. So take a look at this. There are just technological things going on and all kinds of stuff. So if I have not, there's my bird. Here we go, more bizarreness. This guy has been hanging out on my patio for whatever reasons. Isn't he beautiful? I'm telling you, just strange stuff is going on. <laughs> they rarely ever do this. I, well, I've never seen them do this. They usually don't get this close. He keeps coming back here. I don't know what he's seeing. Seems to be pretty happy. Yeah. Did a lot of work. Okay, something really weird just happened. My entire, my entire television, which is off, I had this huge flash. Okay, this, I, I don't know what's going on, you guys, but uh, I, I'm flowing with it. I'm going with it. Okay, that flash in the television was not coming from the television. It was reflecting off the television screen. A huge flash. Now, I, re I played that video back to myself because I thought maybe there's something back here that flashed, that hit that, because that's the only way I could have gotten that, and there was nothing. You saw there was nothing. You saw my reaction, but you never saw a flash back here. I didn't either. And there was nothing out here because the, it's, its back is to that. What was that? You will see things happening with energy that are bizarre with animals. Did you see the bird? <laughs> okay, so it was a bird on my patio. Maybe that's no big deal, but it just sort of happens that the timing on these things is sort of bizarre, all right? You know, why are certain things happening? There's no coincidences, right? There's no chaos in the universe either. Um, so let's talk about the energy that you can start using right now. Start Start taking action in ways that's very different to what you've been doing. So if you've been on a schedule, sh shake it up. Say, okay, okay, I'm not going to the, you know, I was going to go to the marketplace with my friends and, you know, just everything went haywire. I was supposed to be on a cruise uh, um, on the bay here and that all got canceled. So, so okay, what am I going to do at this time? I was supposed to be at the marketplace and I found out there was a serious accident. Uh, on the freeway where, that I would have been on. Everything's working in your favor. A lot of things are being realigned that would have either been a waste of your time and maybe you're supposed to be doing other things. So take a higher choice and, and decide, what am I going to do up here that's different? Maybe I take this time and write that book that you've never written, right? I'm working on two more books right now. And say, okay, uh, I can't get on my rowing machine right now. I need to let those muscles calm down. All right, I'm gonna go for a super long walk. I'm gonna do something else with that time. All right, you know, if you can't eat certain things, so, so don't eat. Fasting can be very uh, highly beneficial. Maybe it's not your thing, but it has some great benefits. If you've never done it, try it. No more criticizing or, you know, everybody uh, that comments that says S people should speak a certain way or, you know, people should do that. But no, there's no should. This is a world of expression and diversity. And when you welcome that, you will live in a world of acceptance of one another. Because if you're doing that to other people, then you will have it done to you. And you don't like it when it's done to you, right? So why would we do it to other people? No more judgment. We're all equal, beautiful light beings here. 
Can you see that? And the very person, as I tell you guys all the time, the very person that irritates the heck out of you is your best teacher. Recognize everything has amazing, beautiful purpose. It's not an accident. So uh, I'm going to keep you guys up to date because today is the 13th Super Bowl day and um, it's still going. So far, nothing today has happened weird, but I'll let you know. And please share if you guys have had some weird stuff. Uh, pretty much all my friends have. They've told me, you know, story after story. I mean, some of it's uh, life-changing and others is just, you know, my stomach is off or, you know, other things like that. Um, great opportunities right now amazing opportunities and you're going to see 2022 is one of the most transformational amazingly abundant wonderful years but not if you stay in that old world and that old thinking and criticizing anything that's different and those of you who've you know uh, this is a uh, free videos on internet training that i took check it out see if it's for you uh you know we've criticized that for years and now it's just how we live and so we've got to let go of the horse and buggy and realize the automobile isn't going away. And now we're moving on to other things too. So we have to flow with it and know that great opportunities lie for you. Oh my gosh, it's off the charts. What do you want to do? There are no limits. And you know what? We're done with people criticizing us too. If you, have, if you want to hold me back with your criticisms, God bless you. God bless you. It's a shame that you're choosing to live in a limited world, but I don't see it that way. So if you want to place those limits on yourself, fine. That's not what I'm choosing. And so you're going to walk away from a lot of people that think that way too. We don't need to be around that. It's their choice. And when they want to join a world of unlimited possibilities, and that is absolutely a fact, unlimited probabilities exist right now. All ideas, everything's in the collective, everything's in the quantum field, and anybody has access to it. The poem, the book, the song, the invention, the idea, everything, the relationship, it all, it's all there. You want to access it? It's time. Go for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably a really long video. That's okay because I wanted to get this across to you because something really major is happening and we're going to talk more about that. In fact, I'm going to focus this year on breaking through fear. And if you haven't signed up for my free videos and my course Breakthrough Fear as of this video. Uh, I have, have a big discount if you guys go through my, my, ser my video series. Uh, that's going away. That whole program is changing um, and this one is too. So take advantage right now of what you have and quit waiting for everything. Just quit waiting, right? There's no such thing as time anyways. But time has shifted. Time has shifted. It's not real anyways. Are you ready? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful. Oh, please subscribe and share these. <laughs> You're whole and perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Yay! Blessings to you. Namaste.